guys, hope you poor. My name is Grace Mwai. I am Hera Maina, aka Kamuhunjia. Yeah, na leo tumekuja na good news. We have a new baby in town. Yes, we are launching yeah. Gilgil Phase 8. The ranch Gilgil Phase Kabisa. 8. And this plot, there are 50 by 100 piece of plot. And uh, if you want to come here from Gilgil, it is just 15 kilometers to come to this plot. Exactly. And the reason as to why the place is called Nagum is because there is a school mm -hmm. uh, available, mm -hmm. uh, which is one of the social amenities that we really appreciate in this place. Mm -hmm. We have a water project undergoing. We, mm -hmm. ha we have a borehole undergoing. We have hospital uh, nearby, uh, so this place is really, really growing. Mm -hmm. So, mko karibu sana. So it is fifty by a hundred, going for Kenya shillings two hundred and forty thousand only. Yes, exactly. And of course, you don't have to pay the entire amount. Yeah. You just need ten thousand Kenya shillings only to start this journey of owning uh, the ranch Gilgil, garden in Gilgil. Uh, 10,000 Kenya shillings deposit, and then you can clear the balance in a very, very flexible payment plan mm -hmm. of six months or an year. The number to call is? 0705 525252. And remember that this amount that you're paying 240 is inclusive of your title deed. Mm -hmm. And uh, after completing uh, paying this amount, you just wait for one month duration to get your title deed. Exactly. And the moment you start your payment plan, you have the freedom to do whatever you want to do with the land. You can plant trees, you can plant crops, what they grow here, you can be able to plant other tomatoes. Exactly. Nya, nya. exactly. You can plant here. Mm. Uh, so guys, if you want to invest, you can call the number on your screen to book a site visit which happens every Saturday and you can call that number on your screen 0705 uh, or you can visit our offices. Yeah, you can visit our offices at Nairobi CBD mm -hmm. RNG Plaza mm -hmm. uh, via Ronald Gala Street, mm. uh, fifth floor, room number four. Mm. You'll be able to be helped there for more inquiries. Welcome to Faraja Settlers Limited, where your property is our priority. Hi guys, Hope Mkofiti. Uh, my name is Hira Maina, aka Kamuhunjia. And uh, <laughs> can you say your uh, name? My name is Grace Mike Wakamuhunjia. <laughs> <laughs> Wamuhunjia, yeah, the Muhunjia, meaning yeah. a man of God, yeah, uh -huh. yo Kamuhunjia. Uh -huh. Naskia inaenda ikienda. Uh -uh. We are cutting short. No, Tunabaki no, no. na Muhunjia. Tis Kamuhunjia. Yeah, so hi guys, I hope you've been good uh -huh. to Mewa Miss. Uh -huh. uh. Yes, and we are here. You know the reason as to why we, we, we are here, it is because we are shocked. I personally am shocked uh, because uh, there is something we did, a survey, and uh, this survey that we carried out uh, really shocked us. And... Um, Today I want us to, to talk about it because our topic today will be why I would leave my wife or husband yeah. today. Meaning this is a question that, uh, you know, we are talking about people who are in a marriage. The poor in marriages, mm -hmm. some are our friends, mm -hmm. others are strangers. Mm -hmm. And uh, there is a very high divorce rate in, in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Yeah, already. Mm. So we found it um, good mm -hmm. to discuss about these matters because they are real, they are there, they are happening. And you can also share your views mm -hmm. up, or, up or YouTube. You can share because you might not be able to talk very much about it mm -hmm. or everything about it. But um, I'm sure you can have something that you can also um, share with us. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, 90%, uh, you know, is just because we cannot, we, uh, for now, we cannot be able to reveal, uh, you know, those views uh, or those people that give their views, you know, their identity. Mm. Uh, but 90% mm -hmm. uh, of Kenyans, according to our research, they have said that they will leave their marriages. If given yeah. a chance, and only ten percent will stay. 
What do you think? Wow. Um, first of all, I think that is, um, of course, it is shocking. Mm -hmm. It is shocking. Na, sasa ni uneza hata ungea na bishti yako hapo nje, unasikia venya meungea. Hai. Um, it is quite shocking what is happening nowadays. So, mm -hmm. it is real. Mm -hmm. And, of course, after all that, I was mm -hmm. asking myself, why? Mm -hmm. I think the next question is, why? Why, why do you feel you can leave your wife or you can leave your husband today? Mm -hmm. And, number one reason... Mm -hmm. No, no, uh, without, uh, without going there, oh, let me ask you first a question. Oh. I want you. I want it to get personal. He yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, now, because you know me, yeah, as now your husband, mm. and uh, you have stayed with me uh, in our house. Now, according to you, before mm. now we go to, you know, we get deeper. You as Grace, mm. what reason mm. would make you leave this marriage today? I I thought you were not supposed to. No, 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 no. <laughs> you know, we, we are doing it practical. What well, what reason would I give you that you you know you decide now you know it is it is enough. Um, what do I say now? Okay, that's a tough one. I think since I have not experienced that thing yet. Because I think every marriage has its own giants and mountains. No, you know, there is so, nobody who, you know, doesn't say, if maybe my husband or my wife does this. Mm. Uh, for me, there is no room for discussion. Mm. It is, you know, there are people who will say, if my wife yeah. cheats, mm? mm -hmm. there is no room for discussion. It is an end to our marriage. Oh. Yeah, so that one reason, that one thing. For me, I think, and you know, <laughs> you know about it. Mm. I think abuse and infidelity is not something that I can be able to live with. Mm -hmm. yeah. So let me ask you a question. At least that, at least that one, you know, uh -huh. abuse and infidelity. Infidelity. So is, mm. if somebody, if I cheat, meaning you cannot forgive, it is a done deal. You don't want to hear about it. Why are you making this about me? Because I want we are us, discussing, I want us, oh, we, we, I want us to be realistic. Okay, me, that is me. Mm -hmm. Imagine, that is me. Mm -hmm. Because I think um, infidelity for me is... You know me, I don't want to be misquoted. I don't want to... <laughs> si, si don't kwa position. Don't overthink. No, si taki kujiaka kwa position. Yenye nitaanza, usijui what, what, what. But for me, that is me. For me, infidelity. Why? Number one, there's something I usually ask myself. Mm -hmm. Why do you want to keep me and somebody else? Why mm -hmm. don't you go with the other person? If, um, if, if you choose, if you have two options, mm -hmm. go with the second one. Mm -hmm. Because you, you do not want the first one. Mm -hmm. In the first place, if you wanted the first option, you would never go to the second one. Why would you stay with somebody you don't want to stay with? Why would you mm -hmm. be with somebody you don't want to be with? Mm -hmm. So for me, when the way I would I take infidelity mm -hmm. is like that. Why kwanini to second mimi and maybe somebody else mm -hmm. is making your day? Mm -hmm. Why do people why do people do that? You know, if 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 you, you have option one who is your wife, when you go for option two, meaning who you mungin and you prefer. So what you what you're doing is you're making your partner go through unnecessary mm -hmm. unnecessary things. Mm -hmm. Yet una prefer uyom mm -hmm. mingine. So personally I think as grace it's not fair to put um uh, your partner through some uh, unnecessary hardship. Mm -hmm. And because, what kind of because you prefer are we talking about because you prefer way? somebody else. Abyss. Physical, or yeah, emotional. physical, emotional. Um, because I think marriage, you should marriage is is um it's a happy affair. You you, you don't get you get you, you shouldn't get into marriage to one the ama one you know. I believe the idea <laughs> of God about marriage, anything ordained by God is good. Mm -hmm. So I believe marriage 
needs to come with its own bliss. Mm -hmm. it's, of course, I know there are the laws also and the mountains of marriage, but uh, the idea of marriage is to see Paul Gonjeke Apo, see Paul Teno Kufia Apo, Ukisemanga ni marriage. So when it comes to abuse, Sasa kama physical abuse, sasa ukichukulia mtu kisu, ati, ati nao mtu wakufange kwa sababu ya marriage, you know. Kofi. One thing leads to the other. Mm. Uyo mtu mwenye na kuchukulia kisu ilianza na mkono kisu, I mean ilianza na, na slap. Mm -hmm. Na ama ilianza na maneno. Unajua hata maneno pia mm -hmm. inawanga mtu. So, I think for me those two things are things I feel are, I, I, I can't really cope with them mm -hmm. yeah okay for me uh, it is i think for me it is just uh one thing one mm. mm -hmm. uh, of course cheating infidelity yes why do you feel infidelity can it is it is the reason as to why I would walk out. Yeah, walk out. Yeah. It is because, uh, you know, I think it is just as you have explained. Because if you would go with somebody else, mm. meaning you did not choose me, you chose yeah, that, that person. alone. Yeah, that alone makes you feel. You chose that person. Yes. <laughs> you chose yeah. that person. So, yeah. uh, just. Pray that I don't find out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now mm. me manga. Now that we share something in common, mm. you cannot have it all. Mm -hmm. At you say me, at you ever come a hiram. Mm -hmm. At you, 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 you want that one. You want that one. You don't want. You will never be satisfied. Uh, you will never. But be now satisfied. cheating is is, is 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 a big thing. But there's a reason. According why. to me, maybe we should discuss mm. one day. Mm -hmm. Or today, why people cheat? Because what to kwana reasons mingi. Yeah, yes, but mm -hmm. uh, it is it, that is one of my reason mm -hmm. uh, why I would leave. You know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Now. Mm -hmm. That is now according maybe to us. We have given yeah, our, our own that reason. Is according to, but 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 kunam tu mingi ne pia. Um, but it's one Some of the major cause. Yes. It's one of the major cause of divorce. Most people that have divorced, mm. most people have an element of infidelity inside. Mm. Ukachunguza vizuri kulikuwa na kamutu kengine kalifaja. Iyo mm. divorce ifanyike ya. So, mm. it's quite unfortunate. God help us all. Mm. Yeah. But, of course, we have so many reasons. We have so many reasons. That people, yeah. you know, told us yeah. why they, they would leave their marriage. Uh. And... Um, where they are in a, in a very unhappy marriages. Yeah. Because now the problem is people are saying that they want to leave their marriage, uh, but they are still there. Mm. Uh, somebody is, ha you know, the husband has cheated, mm. but the wife is still there. Oh, yeah. She is not living because of maybe of the kids. Yeah. Uh, so we have so many mm. uh, reasons. Maybe you can tell us maybe a, yeah. one or two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, one of the major reasons why uh, people are choosing divorce over staying is unrealistic expectations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the word here is unrealistic, I mm -hmm. guess, because uh, expectations in marriage are real. Because there are things that you expect to There are things that it is so obvious. I expect you to protect me. I expect to you provide. to provide. I expect you to be there for me. I expect you to choose me. You know, and mm -hmm. all those expectations. Mm -hmm. eh? mm -hmm. Hizo zina kwanga sawa. And you, that is what you expect from me. Hizo ni sawa. So here, the word here is unrealistic. No, no. Kuna mtu, anaingia kwa marriage, eh? akifikiria, unakuluka tule tu, tu, tu soap opera. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Iyo eh, eh, anafikiria ni Happy kila wakati after. soft life, kila wakati mm. mtu wako anakupelekanga siji wapi, mm. eh, kila wakati you're just over the, over the moon. On the holiday. Ako, yeah, on holiday, ata kupatianga, ata pesa kila wakati. You know the generation that is there right now. Then you uh, walk into that marriage. Then you walk into marriage. Hey, you realize kumbe they are cold days. There are mm. days when there's no money. Yeah. 
ama there are days when you know it can get cold at times mnaona you au pelekwi at nje ama out kila wakati you know those are things we used to watch na tuna watching kwa movies eh so those are realistic expectations you expect so much from marriage um and then you get into it and realize life continues you have to live your life also and and your partner has to live his life you know you expect these big things from your partner and then unaingia kwa marriage unapata they can only give um as much so mm. i think for partners allow your partner to to just be who they are mm. you know if that is what they are able to give you at the moment, mm. moment um accept it and humble mm. humble yourself because mm. sa zingine ku expect vitu mingi kutoka kwa watu zina zina to disappoint sana mm. zina to disappoint sana so um you, that 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 alone has caused people to feel like this mm-hmm. marriage is not working it's not enough for me na maybe ni expectations mingi mtu ako nazo yeah yeah another thing mm-hmm. or that people were telling us is that maybe anasema mimi bwana yangu mm-hmm. eh ana sana mm-hmm. anipati yangi pia attention mm-hmm. you know attention pia inaweza cause attention yeah yeah mm-hmm kwanza ikikuja ni the, the ladies yeah the ladies wanapenda attention yeah and uh, unapata mtu anaona ah mm. this is now too much yeah na kitu kingine pia inaua marriage ni simu oh yeah unasema mtu anasema <laughs> mimi bwanangu anashanganya kwa simu hata mm. you know ashughuliki na watoto mm. anakwenda tu ni simu tiktok tiktok yeah. tiktok tiktok they are missing out <laughs> on a lot of things but then the reasons that people are giving yeah. they look like to to small small issues mm. but una come to realize uh, and especially for us because we are emotional hiyo kwanza ya simu sana sana i think iko sisi unajua tunapenda sana attention unapata yeah. hey, my husband is missing out on a lot hang as via vanyi nini hanipatie attention at is is you marriage kaanza ku boss you nini so yeah. yeah so those those are the major reasons and of course we say the abuse also mm-hmm. your peer it even fam- even in laws yeah family, in laws relatives yeah the external mm. external factors in aleta shida mm. because i think his is easy mingi zenye tumelan ni internal mm. it's a bit internal mm. he sasa kuna the external issues mm kuna story ya mabeshte pia friends stroke in laws yeah. the external forces mm-hmm. unapata i think that's a topic of a different mm-hmm. or a different Nasama, day. my, my, my yeah. mother in law haonangi yeah. uzuri wangu eh hanipendani control even the sun yeah mm-hmm. yeah so that that thing it's 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 real it's real guys mm-hmm. so and definitely well maybe to dwell there a little bit a little bit i think um i like the fact that there is there is actually somebody who who told me mm-hmm. uh yeah yeah hajawa yuruhusu in law to come in between their marriage because he protects his wife mm-hmm. there is a way you can protect your wife that is now for the men eh? mm-hmm. you can protect your wife mm-hmm. from the in-laws mm-hmm. in the way you handle Put her a boundary. yeah mm-hmm. the way you speak to her even in front of mm-hmm. your you know the way you just deal with unajua makosa mengine watu wanafanyanga is sasa yeye bibi yako anapigwa anaonyeshwa madharau anaopoziwa and you the partner you join in hata mm. wewe <laughs> ushamaliza where will your wife go ushamaliza akubaliwi na sasa you know for us ukiolewa according to i don't know about other cultures but for the kikuyu culture ukiolewa unaendanga huko kwa bwana <laughs> kwa bwana yako <laughs> Unaona kwa kwa unaomba ruhusa ya kwenda kwenu. Mm-hmm. Wamama wa wa bibi hoe unaomba ruhusa mm-hmm. ya kwenda kwenu. Yes. So unaendanga hiyo pande nyingine. Sasa ukienda huko uikuwe kuna issue unaonyesha madharau, alafu uonyeshwe na bwana yako. Niambie kwenye utaenda. Hiyo marriage. Yeah, yes, you work. Yeah. yeah, so please protect your partner and vice versa. Another reason as we come to to yeah. an end and this is how somebody mm-hmm. said that um, anataka kumaliza marriage yake because of bwana mwali bwana ngati hakuna hakuna nini hakuna bliss mtu alikubo unamuona na tu unagonje kumasikia kai hii ni nini sasa imekaa hapa familia <laughs> hii ni nini hapa sasa alafu nakumbuka ile siku yenye alikuwa anakukatia ama mlikuwa mnakatia na 
mm. you are over the moon eh yeah. so, wewe hebu nikatie sasa hii hebu nikatie tena anyway <laughs> yeah so you should always do fanya 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 ni tu vitu tu tufani msipoeke na kwanza hiyo ya ku ya kuboa kutukubo it is real it is real na iko kwa many marriages yeah. watu wanaboeka sana kwa marriages yeah. Unaona? Yeah. Of course mapenzi hayezi kuwa venye ilikuwa ati zenye alikuwa anakukatia. Tu kwa realistic. Mtu anaamka hivi akiamka akienda kwa yeye tu anaona na kuona anaona ni kama cabbage imelala hapo. Hata hayezi kuguza. Unajua na shanga huyu. No, but Ana. no, lakini hapo the is that where we are failing also as, as partners. I mean keep 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 what keep your marriage alive tunajua mapenzi hayezi kuwa venye ilikuwa mkikatiana mm. after the first year the second year of marriage with time kenye kinawaekanga pamoja saa zingine utarealize hata kama kuna mapenzi is you need to do you need to remira you need to cultivate yeah, yeah. Mm. si mnakaa kila wakati kwa nyumba hamtukangi mm watoto wakikuja mnajisahau pia mm. nyinyi ni kunini mapenzi every every now yeah. and then every now and yeah then. you remiras yeah. uh, remiras when remiras do something special yeah. for your partner yeah yeah so guys uh, that is where we will come to the end of uh, today's topic and uh, today's to- topic was why would leave my wife stroke husband today and we have given some of the reason that people uh, according to our research would leave their marriage and 10% would stay there is a problem mm-hmm. there is a problem because people actually nilisikia mama mwingine akisema siku hizi kukua single ndio ndio form hakuna mtu anakufungia atimia siwezi nikana mwanaume tufanya nini na yeye that is very deceptive yeah, that is the world we are living in yeah. so now you have it but marriages are under give us your views by eh? the way as much as yeah give us your views mm. share with us but please if you're married pray for your marriage marriage is under attack mm. especially at this day and era mm. um, i think we are having different people and mm. different things very strange things are happening nowadays mm. Mm. yeah so yeah. let's pray pray for your marriage also mm. i think that's my part in short wewe jiombe tu kama umeolewa ama kama umeoa yeah Okay. So guys, remember kama kawaida we are always pro- proudly sponsored by Faraja Settlers Limited and let's uh, see uh, what they have for us today. Hi guys, hope you're well. Thank you for tuning in to uh, today's show. It is a highlight of a project uh, that we are calling Konza Gardens in Konza uh, City. Uh, this is Kajiado County and my name is Hiram Maina. My name is Grace Mwai. Mm-hmm. Tumependa kuwakaribisha sana hapa mm-hmm. Konza Gardens a project courtesy Faraja Settlers Limited. Kabisa. Yes. And uh, this uh, plot they are 50 by 100 piece of plot and they are going for 430,000 Kenya shillings only and of course you don't have to have an, uh, you know the entire amount you can deposit 10,000 Kenya shillings and clear the balance in 6 months or one year payment plan. Also remember mm-hmm. uh, mahali tuko we have uh, social there social amenities uh, we have water mm-hmm. is available uh, tuko bado na stima mm-hmm. we have a school available it's called Naserian Primary School mm-hmm. this area is actually called Naserian Primary School so the highlight of this uh, uh, land or rather Konza Gardens mm-hmm. is the SGR terminus iko tu hapa na Konza city mm-hmm. iko karibu so it is a place yenye it is very marketable mm-hmm. and it's a great deal a few years down the line mm-hmm. this will be a great deal exactly. so come and invest mm, very true and yes. i always tell people mm-hmm. uh, that uh, it is always good to look at the future because uh, as you can see the SGR terminus that is here Uh, you know the government uh, put that terminus beco- you know in konza because they knew that one day this will be a very very uh, you know big place so if you are there and you are in- an investor all you have to do is come to this place and you can book your site visit so that you can be able uh, to come and see what we are talking about and how can you book for a site visit <laughs> you can book uh, for a site visit via call you can call 07 uh, 05 525252 mm-hmm. uh, it doesn't matter where you are you can always send somebody even mm-hmm. though you're in diaspora you can always send somebody mm-hmm. uh, give them that number uh, they'll be able to uh, to be helped also for those who prefer visiting our offices mm-hmm. you can visit for 
larger settlers limited uh, offices at Nairobi CBD, mm -hmm. RNG Plaza, uh, Ronald Gala Street, fifth floor, room number four. Hey. Just pop in mm -hmm. and you're going to be helped. Mm -hmm. Yes. Kabisa. So guys, uh, to summarize it, uh, it all, uh, 50 by 100 going for 430,000 Kenya shillings only and of course you can pay a deposit of 10,000 to start this journey of investment and you can call the number on your screen 0705525252 and we always tell you that uh, Faraja Settlers Limited this is a company uh, where that we ensure that your property is mm -hmm. our priority. Thank you so much. I'm here on Maina. You're welcome.